The NBA made its debut on June 6, 1946, marking today its 77th anniversary. In those initial years, we saw teams like the Baltimore Bullets, the St. Louis Bombers, and the Washington Capitals fade from the league. These departures all occurred within the NBA's first decade. Remarkably, since 1955, we've seen no team entirely seize operations. What we have witnessed, though, are franchises relocating and rebranding. The Vancouver Grizzlies transformed into the Memphis Grizzlies, the Seattle Supersonics reemerged as the Oklahoma City Thunder, and the New Jersey Nets now shine as the Brooklyn Nets. Currently, the National Basketball Association boasts a lineup of 30 teams. Among these 30, 20 have clinched championships. Take the Wizards. Though they're struggling now, back in 1978 as the Washington Bullets, they were at the pinnacle of success. The Atlanta Hawks, too, might seem distant from championship glory today, but back in 1958, when they were the St. Louis Hawks, they reigned supreme. Yet, there remains a group of 10 teams that have never had the joy of a championship victory. Year in, year out, their closest encounter with the Larry O'Brien Trophy is through a TV screen in June. Sad barely begins to cover their championship drought. But hope is not lost. Some of these teams are edging ever closer to breaking their title curse. And today, we delve into which of these 10 teams is poised to lift their first championship trophy sooner rather than later. The Indiana Pacers, Phoenix Suns, Utah Jazz, Los Angeles Clippers, Brooklyn Nets, Charlotte Hornets, Orlando Magic, Minnesota Timberwolves, Memphis Grizzlies, and New Orleans Pelicans. These are the 10 franchises that have yet to secure an NBA championship. And for everyone's convenience, I've listed them here in the order they joined the league. Now, in forecasting which team might clinch the first title soonest, I'll be evaluating several key factors. The current roster composition, the leadership of each team, the overall competitive environment of the NBA, and each team's future prospects in terms of draft picks. To kick off this analysis, I'll first use a process of elimination to determine which teams seem least likely to capture a championship in the upcoming decade or so. And with that being said, the first teams that come to mind when it comes to the topic will not win a championship in the foreseeable future are the Utah Jazz, Charlotte Hornets, Brooklyn Nets, and Memphis Grizzlies. Starting with the Utah Jazz. Currently, they find themselves in a middle ground, not quite playoff contenders, but not languishing at the bottom either. With talent like Jordan Clarkson and Lowry Markkinen, they're capable of snagging wins here and there. However, the prospect of them securing a championship with the current lineup seems a long shot. The silver lining? Thanks to Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell trades, they're stocked with future draft picks offering a glimmer of hope. So, why do I see their championship chances as nearly non-existent in the coming decade? The challenge lies with Utah's location. Building a title contending team requires them to nearly perfect their draft picks, a daunting task. Take the Darren Williams era, for example. Even as a league star, Williams struggled to attract other big names to Utah. For insights into why this might be, consider this brief clip from Charles Barkley and Shaq discussing the city's appeal, or lack thereof. I've been struggling this week and I ain't got no hey, man, man. In Utah. <laughs> These people going to heaven up this way ain't nothing to do with this boring ass city. Now it's boring? It's boring, ain't nothing yeah, to do with it. As y'all just heard, Utah's not the most enticing destination, and unless the Jazz strike gold in the draft with a duo akin to Malone and Stockton, a championship appears unlikely within the next decade. Next in line are the Charlotte Hornets. With players like LaMelo Ball, Miles Bridges, and Brandon Miller, they have a roster that, while not a powerhouse big three, could still pose a threat on any given night. Then regarding their prospects with future draft picks, their situation is relatively average, offering no substantial advantage in bolstering their roster further. So why do I say their championship odds are virtually non-existent in the foreseeable future? Well, despite a roster that's not terrible, they're quite a distance from being serious contenders. They're a team that seems too content, even in defeat. And if we're talking superstitions, since they started in 1988, a 36-year history, their peak achievement has been reaching the second round of the playoffs, a milestone they last hit over two decades ago. This history doesn't bode well for their near future in terms of clinching a championship. Moving on to the Brooklyn Nets. There are two main reasons why I doubt the Nets will make significant headway soon. Firstly, the roster composition, featuring Ben Simmons, Mikel Bridges, and Cam Thomas, presents a challenge. 
Simmons is locked in for another year, and while Bridges and Thomas have potential, they don't exactly solidify a core identity for the team. Their team dynamic seems disjointed, lacking a clear direction. Secondly, the team's ownership and management have shown instability highlighted by friction between Kyrie Irving and Joe Tsai. Regardless of who was right or wrong, the fallout was detrimental, likely deterring other superstars from joining the mix. For these reasons, it's hard to envision a championship for the Nets in the coming decade. Now let's talk about the Memphis Grizzlies. With Ja Morant, Desmond Bain, and Jaron Jackson Jr., this team secured the second spot in the Western Conference in both 2022 and 2023. So, why do they find themselves at the lower end of my predictions? The answer largely revolves around Morant. He's been pivotal to the Grizzlies' success, elevating the team into the spotlight. However, despite his undeniable talent, I have reservations about his ability to lead the team to a championship, primarily for two reasons. Number one, efficiency is key in today's game. Whether it's the power moves of Giannis, the all-around scoring of Jokic, or Curry's deep-range shooting, a leader must score efficiently. Morant's shooting, particularly from distance, doesn't quite hit the mark. While his drive to the basket is impressive, it leads to my second point. At 24, turning 25, Morant plays with a style that's often seen as too aggressive, which currently has him sidelined with an injury. Then, with the Western Conference growing increasingly competitive, featuring talents like Jokic and the rising Wambanyama, Morant's path to leading Memphis to a title seems nearly impossible. For the Grizzlies to claim a championship, they'd likely need a player ranked in the league's top five, a scenario I find unlikely in the next decade. However, there are three teams I believe stand a chance of breaking their championship drought soon. The Phoenix Suns, the Minnesota Timberwolves, and the New Orleans Pelicans are on the short list. Starting with the Phoenix Suns, their shot at a title in the foreseeable future heavily relies on Kevin Durant, who's approaching the tail end of his prime, turning 36 this year and 37 the next. The window of opportunity is narrowing. A significant hurdle for the Suns is the recurring injuries of both Beal and Booker. Without them at full capacity, their chances for a championship run diminish significantly. Looking ahead, their situation with future draft picks is less than ideal, placing them in a tough spot for rebuilding if they fail to surpass teams like the Denver Nuggets and the Boston Celtics in the next couple of years. Without a breakout soon, they'll fall back to the lower tiers of the league. Then there are the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Timberwolves face their own set of challenges, primarily concerning Anthony Edwards. Despite his undeniable talent and potential to be the league's next standout star, there are doubts about his consistency and professionalism. His casual approach during the All-Star weekend, where he shot with his left hand and his tardiness to a game where he was late, have raised questions about his dedication to the game. Additionally, the franchise's decision to trade heavily for Rudy Gobert, putting their future draft picks on the line, is a gamble. While Gobert has helped them become the league's top defensive team, his age suggests that this advantage might not last long. As Gobert's defensive prowess possibly declines with age, the team could lose a critical part of their identity. Like the Suns, the Timberwolves' immediate future hinges on overcoming powerhouses like the Nuggets and Celtics. Failure to do so soon will lead to significant challenges ahead, especially given their limited draft resources. Switching focus to the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans' prospect of championship success are closely tied to Zion Williamson. Their future looks promising or precarious, largely based on Zion's commitment to his diet. While immensely talented, Zion's ongoing struggle with injuries, partly attributed to his fitness, casts doubt on the Pelicans' championship aspirations. Currently competitive, the Pelicans have a chance to make a significant impact this season and the next. However, failure to capitalize on this window could see them resetting their progress. Looking ahead, there are three teams that stand out with a considerable chance of securing a championship in the coming decade. The Indiana Pacers, Los Angeles Clippers, and the Orlando Magic. Kicking things off with the Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton is something special. He stands out as perhaps the most underrated young talent in the league today, both in terms of skill and personality. From what we've observed, his maturity, poise, and dedication to the game set him apart. Not only is he efficient and generous with the ball, but perhaps even more crucially, he possesses a magnetic pull for other stars in the league, demonstrated by his recent recruitment of Pascal Siakam. Furthermore, the Pacers are in an inviolable position regarding future assets, boasting the ninth highest collection of draft picks in the coming years. With a 24-year-old Halliburton at the helm, the Pacers' future is not just bright, it's dazzling. 
Next, we turn our attention to the Los Angeles Clippers. The Clippers, boasting a powerhouse roster with Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook, form an intimidating lineup that positions them as serious championship contenders. Their formidable team composition alone is a strong argument for their championship capability. However, the key to their potential success extends beyond the court to the owner's box. The Clippers benefit from having the NBA's wealthiest owner, Steve Ballmer, whose commitment to winning is unmatched. For context, according to The Big Lead, while the 10th richest NBA owner, Robert Para of the Memphis Grizzlies, has a net worth of $6.7 billion, Steve Ballmer boasts an astronomical net worth of $142 billion. This financial clout doesn't directly buy championships, but it significantly enhances the possibility of success. For example, Ballmer's investment in the team is evident through actions like constructing a state-of-the-art stadium, assembling a top-tier front office with the likes of Jerry West, and his willingness to exceed the luxury tax for roster improvements. Where a $200 million luxury tax bill might deter other owners, for Ballmer, it's barely a consideration. Given these advantages, the Clippers stand a very good chance of capturing a championship in the near future. Following the Clippers, let's take a look at the Orlando Magic. My optimism for the Magic is rooted in several compelling factors. Firstly, as of now, they've clinched the number four seed in the Eastern Conference, showcasing their competitive edge. Secondly, their roster is brimming with talent, notably featuring Paulo Boncaro, a standout player who brings a lot to the team. Thirdly, the core group of players is relatively young and of similar age, offering a golden opportunity for them to develop chemistry over the coming years. Lastly, this team doesn't just have talent, it has size. Wendell Carter Jr., Bon Caro, and Franz Wagner all stand at 6'10", adding a formidable presence in the paint. Complementing the size, they have Jalen Suggs, an athletic shooting guard along with Cole Anthony and Markel Fultz, both top picks for the point guard slot. With their combination of talent, size, and youth, the Magic possess many championship caliber qualities. I foresee them evolving into a significant threat within the next two to three years. After evaluating all 10 teams, if I were to rank the top three with the best chances of securing a title first, my order would be the Clippers at number one, thanks to their star-studded lineup and strong ownership, the Pacers at number two, propelled by Halliburton's leadership and their bright future, and the Magic at number three, with their promising young core and physical advantages. I will have to say, though, that none of these predictions matter if the NBA is rigged, and if you're wondering why I would even start mentioning that right now, it's because I've been seeing some weird stuff happening in the league when it comes to the referees. And if you're wondering what I mean, then you gotta click on this video right here.